Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Quadratic Expressions and Equations and our subtopic is Quadratic Identity. But the Quadratic Identity we are going to discuss today is A plus B squared. So in the previous lessons we were opening expression up, we are expanding expressions and we did both whole numbers and fractions. And we had like mixed expressions, but today we are going to focus on the identity a plus b uh, squared. So when you talk about identities, when it comes to a plus b squared, you can either go the long method or you can identify a certain identity that can help you to solve questions quickly without necessarily expanding. So it's like you're coming up with a formula for cutting out these expressions such that if you see those expressions, you do not have to do the, the large expansion that we did before. What am I talking about? So initially, when we were express, or expanding expressions for the whole number, let's take our a plus b. The normal expansion we did in the previous lesson is going to be a plus b, a plus b. So we we'll use one, of course, to open the other one as we discussed. So a is a plus b, then plus b, a plus b. So this is going to be a times a gives us a squared. A times b gives us a b. Then b times a, which gives us a b. And then b times b, which gives us b squared. If you put the like terms together, it's going to be a squared plus 2ab because they are the same, 2ab plus b squared. So this is actually the expression, not the identity. Every time you have values with positive a plus b, we are going to be giving them um, values. Like whenever we get our expression, we will identify where is our a and where is our b. So the identity is going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b. So what do I mean like this? How can you use these identities to expand without necessarily using the long formula? Let's do examples so that you can see. So use the above identities to write down the expansion of each of the following. So these are positive uh, identities. And we already said it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So instead of us doing the long method, so in the first expression, for example, we have x plus 5 squared. Instead of opening it, we identify our a. Our a is going to be x and our b is going to be positive 5. And be careful with the positive and negative because this comes in, especially when you come to identities with negative. So a squared, our a is x, so it is going to be x squared from a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And our a is x. And then our the second is 2ab. So it is 2 times a times b. This is 2 times x times b, which is 5, which gives us 10x, because 2 times 5 is 10. So this becomes 10x plus b squared, our b is 5. If you square 5, you get 25. So this is our answer without necessarily opening up the long way of expanding. So that is what I'm meaning when I say that we can use the identities uh, to, to, to work out expressions without necessarily going to the long method. Let's use the same in the other examples given. So when you look at the second example, which is 4x plus 3 squared, so this is going to be our a, this is going to be our b. So we said it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So let's put that. So a squared is 4x squared plus 2ab, this is 2 into bracket, our a is 4x and our b is 3 then plus b squared, which is 3 squared. So 4x squared is going to give us 16x squared plus 2ab, which is 4x times 3. This gives us 12x. 12x times 2, which is 24. 
So 24x plus 3 squared gives us 9. So our answer is going to be 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. Okay, let's do the last one. So in the, in the, in the last one, you have been given 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. So this means it's the same as 2x plus 3 squared. That's basically what it means. So our A value is going to be 2x, our B value is going to be 3. So remember, we want to put it in the form of A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So our A squared is 2x squared plus 2AB, which is 2x times B, which is 3, and then plus B squared, which is 3 squared. So this gives us 4x squared plus, this is 2x times 3, which gives us 6x, 6x times 2, which gives us 12x plus 3 times 3, which gives us 9. So this is our expression. So what about the same in the same situation, but you're being given fractions? It's a plus b is squared, but our a or b can be fractions. Let's use the same example. So in the first question, for example, you've been given a half plus x. This is going to be our a, this is going to be our b. So we said it is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you notice with time, the more you do, the quicker it becomes. You don't have to do the this bit that we are doing, it will just come, you can do the calculation of it. But in the meantime, let's open this in the way we have been opening. So it becomes a half, our a is a half, so a half squared plus 2ab, our a is a half and our b is x. Then plus b squared, which is x squared. So this gives us a half squared is 1 over 4 plus, this is a half x times 2 gives us x. Be careful. So it is a half x times 2. So these 2 and 2 cancels. So x and then plus x squared. Remember, it told you that you can go ahead and leave your answer without fraction. So you can do the LCM, which is 4. You multiply everywhere by 4. So this will give us 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared. Let's do this one, and you notice this one is a bit different because we have now two unknowns, that is x and y. In the other case, we are always working with x, but the same applies. So a third y plus 1 over 4x. So this is our a, this is our b. Remember we said we are going to put it in a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So let's do that. So our a squared is going to be a third y squared plus 2 times a third 1 over 3y times our b is 1 over 4x. Then plus b squared is going to be 1 over 4x but squared. So a third squared, this is the same as a third 1 over 3y times 1 over 3y which gives us 1 over 9y squared, then plus, so this 1 over 3y times 1 over 4x is the same as 1 over 3 times 4, which gives us 12yx. So times 2 of this by 2, 1 by 2, 6, it gives us 1 over 6yx. Be careful with this part. And then plus, 1 over 4x, this is the same as 1 over 4x times 1 over 4x, which gives us 1 over 16x squared. So we write that 1 over 16x squared. You can decide to go on and remove the fractions, but you need to be very careful with this because we have an x and y. So it's going to be a bit different. If you were to look at the LCM, so let's say, for example, we want to remove the fraction in this case. So it's going to be 9y squared. We always take all the denominators and then 6yx and then 16x squared. So you start with y. So this becomes 9y, then 6x, then 16x squared. Then y, this becomes 9, 
6x and 16x squared. 10x, this is 9, this is 6, and then 16x, then another x, 9, 6, then 16. So uh, we go 3, which gives us 3, then 2, then Uh, the three may not work. Uh, let's go with um, uh -huh. We can take uh if we we don't get two for all, we go to three. If three doesn't work for all, we go to we can do six, which gives us um. We can still use three as we did, but this is going to be three. And then uh, 2, and then 16, and then 3, 1, 2, 16, and then 2, 1, 1, and then 8, and then 8. So it's going to be, the LCM is going to be Y times Y, X times X. So 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 2. Is going to be 18, 18 times 8, which is going to be 144. It's quite it's quite a lot of work. So it's 144 y squared x squared. So this is what you're going to multiply with 144 x squared y squared. The same case 144 x squared y squared, and here 144 x squared y squared. So the y squared for the 9 cancels and 144 divided by 9, it's, it's 16. So this is 16x squared, then plus the y and x cancels with one of each and 144 divided by 6 gives us 24. So it becomes 24xy and then plus the x squared cancels with the x squared. And then 144 divided by 16 gives us 9. So this becomes 9y squared. So you see, yes, you can eliminate the fractions, but in this case, it will take you more time. So that's how we, we do the identity. So identity for a plus b squared is going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you can keep that in mind instead of doing the large uh, expansion. So check out more revision questions and notes on the scene. In the app. See you in the next lesson.